My name's Shelley Warren. I'm the uh, HVAC R instructor. Um, we, we teach heating, air conditioning, ventilation, and refrigeration here. Uh, we're standing here in, uh, in the shop right now. We're in front of our furnace line, our gas furnace line. We do uh, gas, oil, we do ice machines, soda machines. Um, we also do air conditioning, central air conditioning, ductless splits. So these are all the different kinds of things that we expose the students to so that when they do get out of here, they can uh, um, become a productive member of uh, society and hopefully work in a career in heating and air conditioning. I, I tell this to the kids all the time. The only thing that we do here is we talk about heating and air conditioning every single day. Um, they, uh, some of them get it, some of them don't. Some people graduate. Um, as you saw the career tree up there, some of the p students that are on the career tree aren't going to pursue careers in heating and air conditioning. Um, one wants to be a doctor, one wants to be a biologist. So we do all different kinds of things, but we give them a good background, I think a good physics background, which will help them no matter what they do in their careers. My name is Sebastian Chance. I'm in 10th grade at Pathfinder and today I'm going to be working on brazing. Brazing is connecting two metals um, using another joining metal. And brazing is done at around 1,100 degrees Fahrenheit. When we do it, we heat the bottom of the swedge in order to use capillary action to draw down the braze to make a stronger swedge. It's usually used in high pressure situations like air conditioning. The reason I chose Pathfinder is because it gave me opportunities that regular high school wouldn't. It allowed me to learn a trade and still learn the academics. After high school, I want to flip houses. And when um, flipping houses, there's a lot of work you have to do with air conditioning and plumbing. And so brazing can come in handy when you're doing this. If you notice, this one, these ones look like this color. Yeah. That's after heat. And then these one, this one's still really hot. Yeah, yeah. But once you rinse it off with water, it'll turn back into a normal color. My name is Morgan Kimball. My name is Ryan Peralt. I'm in the heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and refrigeration shop in HVAC and I'm in 10th grade. I'm also in the HVAC shop and I'm also in 10th grade. We're working on a scaled down industrial oil burner system. My career goal is to become an HVAC technician and I'll be having to use this in the field. My career goals are to get out of Pathfinder and become an HVAC technician. I chose Pathfinder because I like to work with my hands. I chose Pathfinder because I'm a very hands-on learning student and the shop fit me for well. So when there's a call for heat, the primer control, it turns on the burner motor. There's a coupling attached to the fuel pump, which takes oil from the oil tank through the fuel line and sends it to the nozzle. The nozzle sprays out the oil. So the nozzle, it atomizes the oil into a fog so that it's easier to light the oil. And the transformer, which has 10,000 volts, creates a spark from the electrodes, which causes ignition. And when the CAD cell sees light, it ke keeps it running. And then when it doesn't see light, it doesn't run. When students graduate from the HVAC shop, they, um, they'll, they'll leave here with a 608, which is a, ref which is a federal certification for refrigerant recovery. And there's three levels of the certification. There's uh, type one, type two, and type three, and universal actually is four. Um, and all our students leave here with universal. Once you graduate from Pathfinder, you only have to work for a thousand hours. You work for one year, and then you can sit the um, the refrigeration test. We also do OSHA 10 and the OSHA 10 card gives you the right to work on a commercial job or actually on any construction job. It's, it's sort of a basic now place where people start uh, with OSHA. So we're, we're really trying to give our students a foothold into an industry that may be a little challenging for them to get into. I am Emily Rochia and I am in grade 10 and I am an HVAC. 
My name is Molly Zajac. I'm in 10th grade and I am in HVAC. When I graduate, I hope to become a service tech for HVAC. I hope to become an HVAC technician. I chose Pathfinder because there's better opportunities for jobs after high school. I chose Pathfinder because you can go right into the workforce right after high school rather than going through years of college. This is a super unit as we call it, but pretty much what we did was we took two window units and we piped them together so we have one side that is the evaporator and one side that is the condenser. So the vapor compression cycle starts in the compressor. It comes out of the compressor as a high pressure, high temperature vapor and it goes into the condenser where it condenses down into a high pressure, high temperature liquid and then it goes to the liquid line to the cap tube or then it is a low pressure, low temperature liquid and then it goes into the evaporator where it goes, it's evaporated off into a low pressure, low temperature gas and then it's put into the suction line and it gets fed back to the compressor. We also like to co-op our students so that those students have actually work, real life work experience. We mostly do that with our seniors, kind of the end of the year. We try and get them all jobs so that when they do go into the workforce, they have those hours that they actually worked for an employer. Um, and if they've actually worked for an employer, there's a good chance they're going to get a job with that employer or with another employer because they've seen them around. 